to Superior Sunrise. Now with me is Robert York, CEO of National Holdings. Robert, you're from Oklahoma City, or you live there now. I mean, it's great to have you here. I know you guys have some meetings that have been going on, and it's great to see everybody and have everybody here, and I want to thank you for being on Sunrise Absolutely. with me this morning. Pleasure well, let's here. talk about your background in the agriculture and livestock industries. Well, I grew up on a ranch and uh, just knew from day one that I just wanted to be involved in this industry for the rest of my life. And so uh, when I went to college, I studied in such a way that I could do that, stay involved and have enough money to support a cow-calf herd, you know, in the part time. So uh, it's always been a passion of mine. Love it. Well, speaking of passions, I know that National Livestock acquired Superior about three years ago. It's been a great partnership over the past three years. I know we've really enjoyed it, really got to know each other. It's just been a great ownership. Let's talk about that. It has. It's a, it's a you know, watching Huey be interviewed and talking about Rayburn Smith, these people are family to us. And we got to know several people, you know, every month we get to know new folks. And so at National, we have a, a, a family of people at our business and that's what Superior is. So when we joined our values and, and the, we, we have integrity, we want to serve the customers best we can with service and it just meshed really well. So we just feel like we've been together for a long time, a lot longer than three years. <laughs> I know it definitely does feel like that. Speaking of National, let's talk about the umbrella of things that you guys have. I mean, it is a big corporation, has a lot of things underneath it. Can you tell us about that? I can. We started in uh, 1932, so we've been in the Oklahoma Stockyards for 84 years now. Wow. And that started with a commission agency that was a cooperative, which was different than the private commission firms there. Uh, and we also had a credit corporation that served the needs of ranchers who couldn't get money during the depression. Then that continued to move on that way um, until we started to acquire some uh, new companies like Superior through some partnerships. Um, so we then formed a company called NL Holdings and NL Holdings handles some investments which include the OKC West Livestock Auction Del Reno, Superior Livestock Auction, we still have the credit facility and we still have the commission company and an order buying company there in Oklahoma City. Speaking of Oklahoma City and the stockyards, I know we're down here in the stockyards, but there's something really neat about being in Oklahoma City and those yards. You guys are down there mm -hmm. and they still run every day. It's really, really neat to see that. Can you tell us about that? It is. It's uh, When I interviewed there for my job in 1996, I drove there and sat in the conference room and, and left and I, you know, I had the sights and the sounds and the smells and and I, I, knew, I knew when I got there, if I got the chance to have that job, that I'd arrived at the <laughs> pinnacle of the livestock industry. And it still feels that way. So it is a very active place, uh, one of the biggest ones that's ever been and still is. So uh, there's a mix there of still the city with the stockyards, which is not here so much anymore in Fort Worth, but it, it's an incredible place to visit. It definitely is. I know I've enjoyed going down there. I know my mom and I were on the catwalk one time and this is right when National had just purchased Superior and I was taking pictures of it and I just thought it was the neatest thing and it's really neat to be a part of the Superior family. I know I really enjoy it and I want to thank you for coming on Sunrise Absolutely. with us this morning. When we come back, another great guest. Don't go anywhere.